listening to Aquaman Beats. Yo, what up? Kev here from Aquaman Beats. I just wanted to share a quick little snippet of something that I'm working on. Uh, it's kind of a, a cool um, cross genre vibe. It's a reggae feel, kind of a trap feel. It's kind of just got like an experimental vibe to it. But I want to break it down layer by layer just to kind of show you guys how I started this and then how I expanded on it. But this one particularly, I actually started with the drums because I feel like it sets more of a foundation for the whole vibe of the track. Uh, my history with it comes from me being in garage bands in high school. Whenever we were sitting around trying to come up with new ideas, the first one to start the track off would always be the drummer. The drummer would usually jam with either the bassist or the guitarist. So I noticed that whenever I work on beats that way and I start out doing the drums first, it's a lot easier to kind of follow those rhythmical patterns and get more of like on a foundation set. And um, it's a little bit easier for me to come up with cool melodies and cool uh, chord progressions. Started out with this clap. So I added this clank in. And then this little zap. And then um, I added another clap so that on that off time clap, a different one comes in just before it on the normal time. So it gives it a really cool kind of swingy vibe. Right here. That one's more of like a punchy snare like clap. Oh, I actually added a tremolo on the, the hi-hat. Really good way to get a wide kind of feel in your drum rhythms is to, instead of just having your hi-hat dead center or even just pan to one side, you put a tremolo effect on it and it'll kind of pull it this way and that way. So this is what you get. All right, you probably won't be able to hear it super well over the phone, but that's okay. You get the idea and just test it on your own, you know? And if you ever have any questions, just hit me up and I'll, I'll help you out. Added this really cool, um, this is known as Clockwork in Alchemy. Alchemy is like one of my favorite plugins. I use it for a lot of my productions. I added this piccolo and it took me a little while but I found like a really cool way to just use like, I think four notes and I just drag, drag them out. I put um, this little vibraphone in. You can find it in the default instruments for Logic. I just added like subtle little, uh, couple little notes. I'm trying to add in right now this, uh, this like 808. So I'm gonna record that, and then I'm gonna go through a few different 808s, find the one that I like. All right, so I picked out a kick as well as a solid 808 that I liked. I put some bit crush on the 808. I found a really cool pattern that I liked for the 808, which I was playing earlier. And then I pretty much duplicated that into the kick, uh, and then I threw a, a few extra little rolls and a few extra little um, like kind of stutter effects in the kick. I'm probably gonna add a little bit of like vinyl feel in there just to give it kind of more of a, you know, kind of more warmth on the track. And then I'll probably also add like some rides, crashes, uh, even like reverse crashes and things like that, just to kind of feel it out more. Also give um, the artist a little feel. Actually, I'm gonna be riding to this one, but um, but whenever I, I add those things, it's kind of just to give artists like a heads up that, hey, you know, the end of these four bars is coming. So yeah, check out what I got. drops too that's really important so yeah i hope you found that helpful uh, if you have any questions drop a comment below let me know i'm always here to help um but yeah i appreciate you tuning in kev here from aquaman beats follow me for more tips and tutorials like this and uh yeah enjoy the beat making